Hi YouTubers, it's George. I'm in the garage workshop and um, I'm rapidly running out of time to do with my ham radio expedition. That's coming up very soon. And um, I'm struggling to get everything done. I've actually made me loading coils. They're all done and they work well with my portable system which is here in this bag with the tripod and the earth, earth, uh, earth wires, ground plane wires that works fine my ground connection or radials earth radial that works fine I've got my Ultramax power unit and power distribution board that works fine the biggest issue I've got, I haven't got a way of mounting my telescopic aerial on the motorhome. But now I've got the bike rack, it gives me a few options. But what I need to do is have a plate <coughs> made up that has the thread in the middle that these loading coils spread onto. So the idea is uh, I'm going to get this rod here and weld it into the center up here so that becomes the stand for the loading coil and then I've got to find a way of then attaching this to the camper van motorhome and on the bike rack and uh, I need some metal plate and uh, I'm trying to use scrap and this is an old engine stud from a a Morris Miner I believe, I'm not sure or station engine I scrapped so let's have a go at trying to fit this thread into there so here's the rod here put, a, put this one of these couplers on there clean the threads there put that on there like that and then I'll clamp that together and then hopefully I can weld that and then grind that off and that'll be like the mounting plate for the coil now welded the rod in like that and I'm going to tidy it up and I'll just show you so that that's nice so that's the mounting plate and the loading coil will go on top of there that okay so what have we done so we've got the metal plate we've got the thread in the middle turn it over we've got the holes drilled for the bolts um, I would have liked to use countersink bolts so this is a bit more warm so we'll drop it in there and um, wait for that to cool off and then I'll countersink these or deburr them I should say on the uh, pillar drill. Well, I'm struggling a little bit trying to find bolts and things like that but um, that's the start anyway on the uh, coil mounting bracket that's going to go on the um, bike rack on the Mazda Bongo. Well here's the bracket made it's not perfect scrap piece of metal what I've had to do is to bore a hole here to allow for the weld joint because this is aluminium and that's steel I've had to borrow the, the countersunk screws from my portable aerial but these are okay with nuts and bolts actually that's not a problem it doesn't catch on anything and I've countersunk the screws here so that when it's mounted on the on the um, cycle rack it'll be flat and in here will be drilled for u-bolts and uh, so that'll go on to the, the bike rack and the u-bolts should be delivered today and then the, the coil whichever I choose will go on here like this I'll just show you like that, that'll thread on right and then the u-bolts will come through here through this bit onto the bike rack and 
and then this will all get sprayed up to make it look neat and I'll probably put a washer under here it's not for when I'm driving it's when from um, I've parked up and I want to set my aerial up I'll still have this bracket these are the bolts been swapped out from here into there because they're they're um, what they call it cheese heads so they they're flush it doesn't matter on that and that goes on on there on my portable aerial so I just wait for the new bolts to arrive.